Hi everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. In this one, we're going to show you how to use Photoshop and bring in Photoshop layers right into your Captivate pieces. This is a great new feature in Captivate 4 and you do that by going to Import and then Photoshop File. Now I have one here on my desktop, I'll open. Now Captivate comes up and what you see here are all the different layers that are in this piece. And you see a very teeny weeny thumbnail of what those layers look like. Almost useless, but hey, it's there. I can get rid of the background, don't need that layer. Then you have some options. You can bring in all of the layers that you've selected or you can flatten the image. If you flatten the image, that means it'll bring all the layers in as one complete picture which is what you would do many times out of Photoshop. In this case, we want the individual layers. And then you can scale to fit the screen in case you have a different Captivate project size than what the uh, PSD is. I will say, okay. Captivate thinks for a second and brings everything in. So now I have all of these. I can reposition them if I don't like the way it brought them in. And sometimes a little bit of repositioning is okay. And I'll just leave the top as is. Now, the only thing is, if I run this now and press F4, you notice they're there, and they all disappear at the same time. All right, we've got a very short slide. So let's make this slide a little bit longer. We'll say 10 seconds. Okay. And the images are only on right now for a specific time. So let's go into each in, uh, image, and we'll change to rest of slide. Okay, and we'll do the next one as well. And we'll change that to rest of slide. And finally, the third one. And we'll change this one to rest of slide. So now these will be on for 10 seconds. Now these I don't care about right now. If we press this again, I'll do F4 for publish and preview. The first three show up. They all show up. Notice the header went away. But the other ones will stay on till the end of the slide, which is 10 seconds. So that works as expected. Now if you look here, you notice all of our content down here in the timeline. You can see all of your slides. These don't go in as long. These stay for the whole slide. You can adjust things. You can move things around. Let's say I want to move these to different places. And just by doing a couple of little things like this, and this won't look great, but I'm just, just to show you how you can move layers around. I press F4 to preview again. And now after a couple of seconds, you notice things are starting to come in the other way. So you can manipulate all the layers once you get them in. It's very powerful, very simple, and anyone can use this. So all you can do is your layouts in Photoshop, bring them into Captivate, easily manipulate them, and create what look like animations just with Photoshop layers. Well, that's your quick tip on Photoshop layers in Captivate. I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation. Thanks for listening and watching.